This is Ryan Thompson, Associate Athletic Director for Communications here at Davenport University. Today I'm joined by Melanie Lowen, the women's head golf coach. Uh, coach, it's been a whirlwind for you the last couple of weeks, so let's take us back to the GLIAC Championships. You guys were able to finish second in stroke play and then second in medal match play. Talk about that tournament and how that propelled you into the regionals. Yeah, so uh, GLIAC Championship held at our all-time favorite course, Stonehenge North. Um, we're just so at home and comfortable at that facility. We host our home tournament there, so we have a lot of confidence. Got off to a great start uh, after round one. We um, were leading the tournament in stroke play. Uh, slipped to second on uh, the second day, but it was still good enough to cut to the top four to get into the medal matches. Uh, won our first match against Saginaw Valley. Uh, and then faced Grand Valley in the championship match, and, and we did fall to them, <clears throat> and so finished second overall. But still a really amazing tournament for us. Uh, kind of solidified us getting into regionals and um, our seeding at that. And then, uh, yeah, took all that confidence and momentum right uh, down into Indiana and to the regional. You guys were 11th going into that, and you guys ended up finishing fifth. You got that fifth and final spot into the NCAA championships for the first time in program history. Um, you guys were fourth after that first round. You shot 315 the first two rounds. Going into that final round, you were in that fifth spot by two strokes. So what was the message to the team overnight going into that final round? Well, I think we were fired up the last half of the spring with the ranking that we had been given by the committee we felt like we were a little bit lower than we should have been uh, at 11th we at one time were 13th um, we had had an amazing spring and it just kind of felt like we weren't getting the credit we deserved uh, in the rankings but i think that helped with our confidence and just kind of getting fired up and so yeah we we showed up at regionals and got off to a really good start um, and it was I think just a message of that self-belief is so powerful. We we knew what we were capable of. Um, you know, I said all along, people might say we're kind of a Cinderella story, but we knew we could do it. And there was no doubt within our program that we could be in the top five at the end of the day. You know, taking a look at the regionals, Hannah Maloche tied for eighth, top finisher for you guys. She shot a season low 72 in the opening round and then had a 79 and a 76 for a 227. It was her fourth top 10 finish of the season, and it was her lowest 54 hole total of the year. Talk about your lineup one through five. It was Hannah Maloche in this tournament, but everybody is kind of capable of shooting well, correct? Yes, and I think that's been the difference maker for us this year. We have five players that at any given time can be counting in our top four scores. And um, in the past, we've been a little bit weak on that back end, and this year we're not. And so that's made a huge difference in our scoring averages. Um, Hannah. Six year senior, she's been a, a key part of our program for all six of those years. Maybe hasn't gotten in with the lowest scores this year um, that she's wanted, but boy did she show up at regionals. And it was just incredible to watch her go and, and really show what she's capable of and, and to get the job done and really lead us as a program uh, through those three rounds. And you gotta be comfortable and happy about the fact that you have a couple freshmen, Hannah Robinson and Tylee Gurney. Tylee in particular got off to a shaky start but then rebounded with a 75 on Tuesday and an 80 on Wednesday. Talk about their resilience and learning the course and performing well in the final two rounds. Yeah, both of our freshmen uh, have just had a fantastic year. I've seen so much personal growth in them with their confidence, learning to let bad holes go and, and being able to rebound. And that's made the difference, just like you saw with Tylee. Struggled on the first day. She was a score we didn't count and came back low on the second day and, and rebounded and then was right in the mix again on the third day. And Hannah Robinson's been super consistent for us all season, kind of being in that that 78 to 81 range for most of her rounds uh, throughout the entire year. So looking for a lot of excitement out of those two uh, in their next three years here at Davenport. And then also making this trip to Nationals, Lauren Gervais and Melissa Walker. Lauren for you has been your lowest score on average, not only this season, but almost for her career. Uh, she finished in a tie for 35th. I'm sure you're expecting maybe her to shoot a little bit lower as we enter the Nationals. Yeah, I think she she probably was a little disappointed in those scores. We we all know uh, she's capable of doing uh, a little bit lower, but still she gave us what we needed to get the job done. And, and now we can go to Nationals. That's a great thing, just feeling relaxed and knowing that there's no next step. So we can just be relaxed, enjoy the process, and 
think any time our crew can play relaxed golf is when they play their best golf. Uh, you'll be going to Orlando, Florida. It's a course you guys aren't too familiar with. So what do you do in the next week or so? That will start May the 21st another 54 hole match play tournament. So what are you guys working on right now to prepare for nationals? I think they're just doing what we've always done, just working on short game, uh, really working on putting, uh, focusing on those aspects, and then still playing and, and hitting the range when they can. So just kind of doing what we've done all spring uh, to prepare. And we'll get down there um, two days before the tournament starts. So we'll have uh, Sunday to hit some balls and do a little putting down there. And then Monday will be the official practice round. So that'll be our first time seeing the course. Congratulations on all the success so far this year and good luck at nationals. Thank you.